Hey guys, Kyle from Crazy Trailer World of Houston coming at you today with five good points on things to look for when you're buying a trailer. So today we've got a load trail gooseneck. I want to go over a couple things that you want to consider when you're purchasing your trailer. The first thing that I'd really consider is how much weight are you going to be carrying? A trailer like this is equipped with two 7,000 pound axles. So this trailer is going to have a 14,000 gross vehicle weight rating. On a gooseneck, you can actually transfer some weight to the rear axle of your truck which is great because it'll increase your weight capacity. If you're gonna be carrying something heavier than about 10,000 pounds, you might wanna consider heavier axles, throwing an extra axle, or maybe even go into a tandem dual axle. The other thing that I would really consider is what are you carrying? So trailer like this has these stand-up ramps on it. It's gonna be great for things like, uh, you know, skid steers, mini excavators, trucks. Now where you're really gonna fall off with a trailer like this is if you're trying to haul low profile equipment or cars you know uh, you don't want to bottom out your vehicles and stuff like that so it's going to be really important to know you know what you're putting on there is it going to work is it going to load um you know a third thing that you really want to consider is what is your tow vehicle you know if, if you're going to be towing with a, a toyota tacoma obviously you're not going to have a uh, gooseneck in the back of that thing you know this is going to be really set up for something like a 2500 or a 3500 or heck even bigger sometimes. Gooseneck, it's got a two and five sixteenths adjustable coupler. This is good for your 2500, your 3500 vehicles. It's gonna be really great for putting your skid steers, mini excavators, trucks, um, but you get away from being able to haul cars. Now, something more like this trailer here, you've got the your tilt, it's gonna be good for hauling your scissor lifts your 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 forklifts um and this trailer you know whether you've got an f-150 a 250 350 you know this this thing's going to be able to be towed by pretty much any of those vehicles and as long as you're not exceeding the weight well you can put it on there you know a trailer like this is going to have a really low profile load angle it's going to have this knife edge so when it meets the ground it's gonna make a really easy transition. So, like I said, whether you're putting a scissor lift on there, a forklift, your cars, your trucks, you know, this thing really makes it easy to load just about anything you've got. When you when you look at the bumper pull, you're, you're gonna get a little less of that weight transfer. You're putting it at the back of the truck instead of over that axle of the truck. You know, you don't have as much stability. Some people really prefer a goose uh, a bumper pull over a gooseneck personal preference definitely plays a role here a trailer like this is going to open up the door for you on capabilities you know the more options you have on these trailers the 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 more you can really do with them you know we equip most of these trailers the bumper pulls aren't going to come standard with your bare tire but we're going to put a spare tire mount on them so that way if you need one we can get you one you know uh you got your adjustable two and five sixteenths couplers so shoot man you got a drop truck lifted truck shouldn't make too much of a difference we'll get you hooked up get the ride height right so yeah guys i appreciate you listening to me i'm gonna pass it over to josh now and he'll go over a couple other things that uh you should look for thanks kyle josh here at crazy trailer world want to go over something we get a lot questions on gbwr and how it relates to cdl versus non-cdl we get a lot of misconceptions on that so twenty six thousand is the make or break it point for CDL versus non-CDL. That's gonna be based on the GBWR of the vehicle along with the trailer combined. So it's the weight of your vehicle plus what it's capable of carrying along with the weight of the trailer, what the trailer's capable of carrying. So something like this, two 7,000 pound axles is gonna put you at 14. Something to keep in mind, if you're in a dually, you're probably gonna be rated at 14,000. That's gonna put you over that 26, obviously. So what we can do, we can re-rate that trailer, put it at 12. The only thing we're going to be changing, manufacturer certificate of origin and the sticker on your trailer. That sticker, keep you under that 26,001 pounds. Now you don't have to worry about DOT man. Tires. Most trailers are going to ship with a 10-ply tire. It's fine for your light-duty stuff, but I do recommend upgrading to something like a 14-ply on these 16-inch wheels. They're going to last a lot longer, going to be a little bit more resistant to punctures, and especially in those really hot days, you're traveling across New Mexico, something like that. A 14 ply is going to hold up a lot better, a lot better, and keep you off the side of the road having those blowouts. And a special tip: we do offer parts and service here. 
We've got a full shop in the back. We've got a parts department inside. So for all your parts, service needs, we can get your trailer fixed up, get you on the road, add those winches, slide track, any of that kind of stuff you need on your trailer, we can get it done for you. All right, and if you're in the market for a new trailer, you can find us at crazytrailerworld.com.